New tonight, the truth about wine, what you are really drinking. It could surprise you. So tonight, CBS 4's Vanessa Borge finds out what's in your wine. For winos or wine lovers, that's a beautiful sound. But you could be uncorking and pouring more than just your favorite kind of glass of grapes. The perception is you're drinking fermented grape juice, and the reality is that's not exactly the truth. Christopher Knoll studied the contents of modestly priced wines and found a lot more than just grapes. When you drink a glass of wine, especially a, a relatively inexpensive wine, you're drinking a huge array of compounds and chemicals that uh, you have no idea are present in the wine. Here's what we have, all those beautiful old chateau. Gino Santangelo is much more than a wine lover. He's an expert, the chief sommelier for the Forge restaurant in Miami Beach. Their famous cellar carries more than 29,000 bottles, and Gino knows them, contents and all. What makes one bottle more expensive than the other? Besides the quality of the wine, uh, the region, uh, the terroir, the land, uh, the winery, the winemaker. But Gino says usually a cheaper bottle has more ingredients other than fermented grapes. Nobody wanted to add anything. They, they wanted to be pure, they wanted to be wine by itself. Uh, but Mother Nature doesn't work. Uh, even every year. So to make even batches year in and year out, winemakers add more than 200 potential additives in wine, including sulfites for preservation, mega purple for coloring, gelatin for texture, and a chemical called vilcorin, which kills any living organisms in the wine. Experts say inconsistent grape harvests force winemakers to add additives to every bottle of wine to make sure every glass tastes the same. But batches could end up tasting different or worse, more expensive. The quality of the wine, of course, is going to change. Unfortunately, the prices are going to rise a little bit because it's less grape. And what if you want no additives in your wine? Look for bottles labeled organic or natural. They contain few or no additives. Labels should be required on wine the same way they are with any food stuff. Gino believes the wine should speak for itself. Wine is art. You don't put no label on art. Vanessa Borge, CBS 4 News.